Don't you be afraid. Hey guys, welcome to the ANX Weekly Update, where we bring you the latest video game, anime, and movie news. I'm Unbiased Ann, and I'm here with Genesis and Terrence. What's going on, guys? Hey, how's it going? Hey. Hey, we hey. just did a podcast. Hey, same clothes. <laughs> <laughs> now we're doing another one. Yep. It's all good, though. What's going on? What are you, what are you excited to talk about today? That's the other podcast. We well, I'm just that. saying. We don't really do that What here. are we doing? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I guess I'm excited to talk about these games just sitting over here in a pile. Why you put your games in a pile? Well, well whatever. Anyway, y'all ready to get to it? <laughs> yeah. Let's jump in round one. Round one. New this week. What you got? It's not a. Dra- this is one I was talking about last week. I said I ordered a new Dragon Ball Pop, Dragon Ball Z Pop. It just hadn't come in yet. It hadn't come in yet, so it finally came in. And guess what? I misspoke. It's not. It's not even Dragon Ball Z Pop. So I didn't go Dragon against Ball, right? I didn't go against you know the rule. <laughs> the rule. This is a Dragon Ball Pop Galactic Toys exclusive. So what happened with this one is, um, it got bolted. So what that means is they don't make them anymore. So I had to go ahead and grab one. I had meant to get it like a long time ago, but I just never did. Yeah, because I remember I seeing one like that at Best Buy a long time ago, but just like a regular one. Just Goku on the Nimbus cloud. You ain't feeling that? You don't like that? I'm not feeling it. Oh, Lord. It ain't Persona, so you don't want it. So anyway, that's new this week. We got that. It came in. If y'all want it, link down in the description below. See what else. I think I think that's all we got for round one. Round one's been pretty. No, we got one more thing. A lot. Doom Eternal. Speaking of podcasts, we just did. We did the Doom Eternal review. That podcast is available now, now <laughs> wherever you get podcasts and on a version TV on YouTube. So speaking of all that, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, follow, all that kind of good stuff. Um, y'all ready to jump in around too? Yeah. Round two. New games. <laughs> New games. New games. You said that. All right. There's I, a lot. There's, yeah, there's a lot. I don't know what's going on. Is this normally a time where a lot of games come out? I think like um, there's a lot of indie titles, but we really don't we don't do as much indie titles. So no, we, we just did a whole podcast where you were like, I'm Mr. Indie Man. Yeah, but we don't as a group do a lot of indie titles. Um, this one don't look bad. No, it didn't. This one don't look bad at all. That should look pretty good. Yeah, this one. Okay, so it's called Hyper Parasite, and their marketing is all like, oh, the depths of darkness in the 80s. 80s, yeah. Mm-hmm. It looks very 80s. Yeah, so it looks very 80s. The music is 80s, but like the graphics are like up to date. Yeah. As far as this type of game. So what did you think? I thought it looked I thought it looked interesting. I mean, it's any title. Um, I'm pretty sure, um, like last week's, uh, that's probably not more than 20, 20. Yeah. Yeah. Probably about 20 bucks. I would mm-hmm. assume. So for a quick 20 bucks and you put it on your switch player for a little while, keep it in your library somewhere. Mm. What'd you think? I'm not into it. No. Mm-mm. I thought you like 80 stuff. I do, but I didn't really like this. No, it looks, it looks like, well, let me, let me take that back. It looks like it's easy to play as far as you attacking right. people. It looks like it might start to be difficult because it seems like, like a, what are the shoot 'em ups, like the, the Gradius and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And it looked like it started to get into that realm, but it's not, you know, so I don't know. It was a lot going on on the screen. So right. it looked like it could be difficult. Like you can be getting a hit and attack from a lot of different directions, but it looks easy to play. I'm assuming you just run around tap X to shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Or like that's what you're doing a lot now. The controllers on each side. Mm-hmm. There's that's your way to turn, spin. Mm. Yeah. So okay, well let's go on to the next game. Aeolus tournament. This looks like right up your alley. Tennis. I was really not feeling this. This no? looks so, weird. So this is what I got from it. This is what I got from it. <clears throat> Mario Party mini games. Pretty much. Yeah, Pretty Mario much. Mario Party mini games. Except it's all just the mini games. But they ain't got no dice. So <laughs> he Ashley would, Larry? Yeah, he would not be very fond of this game. But I'm you know, fond of winning. Yeah. So no dice at, at all cost? Yeah. Okay. Gotta win. He's mm-hmm. cutthroat. He is on everything. 
got to do it, right? Devil. Okay, so is that a no for you? I never. I wouldn't even pick it up. You? No. Dang. Okay. No, that's a no for me too. Let's move on to the next game. How about that? What y'all? Y'all got low energy. Come on, let's try and pick it up. Y'all, yeah. Come on. Come on okay. with it. Come on. Um, this don't even have a name on. I couldn't even find a good graphic for this. Uh, treachery and beat down city is what it's actually called. And I would get this. You would. I would. You, you would, cause you're a fool. <laughs> that's why. A fool for Obama. Okay. I mean, because wa- a ninja got Obama. Yes, I will play this game. <laughs> a, ninja, had, it, a ninja got Obama. A hit- real ninja, not <laughs> not ninja. Like we ain't saying ninja, ninja. We talking about a real ninja. Came and swooped up our, uh, our, our beloved last president. I said last president, beloved last president. And you have three characters you can use, and each has a perk. It has good energy to it, but it's so old looking. Yeah, it's definitely also uh, uh, everybody out there. It's Double Dragon, pretty much for the NES. <laughs> uh, Double Dragon and uh, with an RPG element because the fighting style isn't punch beat punch. It's more um, you have a menu and you can it tells you what to do. What I want. What I yeah, suffer. and a, a lot of wrestling aspects to this. Correct. So it's very weird and strange. Double Dragon with wrestling moves, but you got ninjas and presidents getting captured. Not just any president, but Obama. Obama. Um, yeah, rapping, rap music. Um, is urban the right word? Like the, like yep. the, okay, the anchor, the news anchor was even, you know, had the dreads. But my main problem with this was not that there's a problem with this, but it's the same thing in, in Black Panther. What all all I saw was the white guy saving the day. They sh- they ain't really show the, the the black guy coming in to help fight until like the very end. Most the of the chick time, is Hispanic. Yeah, but that ain't so. It's multicultural. I'm yeah, I, I get that, but the game is not representing itself as being like a multicultural game. It's okay. It seemed like it's supposed to be appealing to us, but I, the I, most most of the time they show people fighting that didn't look like us. Well, the black that's dude, all I'm saying. The black dude in tights was even, even his even his in tights even this image we have up right now. Hispanic Hispanic lady going to beat up beat up the white man okay i'm just saying i'm just throwing it out there she's hispanic okay you're not hispanic last time i checked yeah but the but the but the black dude and i'm in the not tights. regardless of what y'all think out there i'm not either <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that i'm just not okay with well, they had a black guy in tights so um <laughs> um so forget forget if you would buy this are you going to buy this i am going to buy this i will support my people's games okay I will not buy this. Yeah, no, that's a, it's gonna be hard enough for me. Like, uh, yeah, I support yeah. my people. You put out your little ten dollar game, I will buy you a little ten dollar game. Okay. Let's see what let's see what other ten dollar ten dollar games we got. Let's <laughs> see what else we got. Oh, this this oh yeah, uh, one right here. It's probably about four ninety nine. In other <laughs> waters. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. This uh, one was. It looked weird, but it also was like, what is going on? Yeah, it seems like work, like real work. Like I can see like some kind of scientists like on their computer doing this. Like it's like what you would do to analyze and it looks like somebody a submarine analyzing like like somebody in the military. I don't want right. this experience. Yeah. The music was nice. It was weird. I don't want this experience. And that's what we've talked about a lot. Me and the experiences. I don't want this. I feel like this is a takeoff of um what was the game where you would go to different planet, planets and get minerals and stuff from the planets to to upgrade ships and stuff like no, that? No Man's Sky? No. Did you do something similar? Ugh. Not like this. What What? What was... I can't think of the name of the game. But anyway, I feel like there was a, a game like that that you did. That you, um, but the main game didn't have anything to do with that. That was just like the subplot where you would go to different planets and get minerals and stuff so i'm I, not I, I didn't feel this at all this look is this is what i will say out there everybody just needs to go out there and check out this trailer why because it's weird right it's, it's an experience like you've never had before the trailer is worth watching is what you're saying yeah you, you will look at this trailer and it looked like somebody pooped themselves <laughs> what <laughs> it was you need bro what you eating what? <laughs> it's, it's, it's poop uh, uh, cheering 
It's that baby poop color. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, okay. And it's not, uh, it's, there's, it's no fluidity to this game. It just seems like. It's a game about water. How is there no fluidity? It doesn't make not me feel. Not literal fluidity. Really do, it really does not make me feel anything about water in this. At least the one we did last week had so, bubbles. <laughs> so this one had dots. So it looked like you would maybe tell maybe the submarine or whatever the thing that you didn't really see it it was just a, like a radar screen right. and you would tell a dot to go to another dot and all, along its path it would maybe take scans of what types of creatures or minerals or sea life was there and then you analyze that data and I don't know what you do with it make yeah. a spreadsheet or something I don't know um, so anyway no that's the nice way to say it. No. no. Oh yeah, that's no. Okay. Um totally reliable delivery service. Um yo man. Um Kojima, did you do this? <laughs> Who the man. thought it was a good idea to start making video games about delivering packages? I mean, Who? it looks cute. It Who? looks cute and basic. Maybe a kid could play it. So I know this is past your time, but and closer to our time. But there used to be a game called Paperboy. Oh yeah, who's past whose time? Paperboy. Yeah, I played Paperboy. And, and so you had your little bicycle, and you were delivering paper, newspapers, and it was simple. It was very simple. Um, so I feel like this is this is more chaotic. Crashing, busting your head. I mean, Paperboy stars. was pretty chaotic. But you play with your friends, right? And this is the one that said four friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could see like a 10 year old or something playing this. I don't know. People wouldn't get chaotic to Man, let the 10 year olds play this if they want to. They're going to be made fun of. I'm just saying, this not is, do it, it just do looks it. like it's for kids. Is what I'm no, saying. yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely looks it's like it's a, for kids. Yeah. Or a, a mom playing with it. Uh, you know, it's one yeah. of those. It's not a. You know what this reminded me of? Uh, crazy Taxi. So crazy not it was chaotic. Yeah. So not not delivering um, packages, but crazy taxi. You deliver people to locations, and you just fly all them. over the map, and you just drove crazy in the car. You jump, have big jumps, and you know all that kind of stuff. Remind me, it reminds me of crazy taxi. Yeah. Um, but I'm not. I just just a basic concept of I'm going around delivering packages. Mm. Nah. And if I knew that that stranding was about delivering packages, I would have never <laughs> <laughs> ever played that game. Mr. Postman. Persona 5 Royal. Awesome. RPG Elements. Deals with Shin Mogami Tensei. Um, it's an Atlas. It's one of their big titles. Um, and it's the deluxe edition that they usually put out. Like when they do, when they put out Persona 3 Gold. Um, so it's, it's a Persona game. I'm mad. I'm mad that I even got this. I'm mad that I bought this. And for what purpose? So they had that whole trailer and they showed zero gameplay. They showed zero gameplay. The last time I checked, I could have swore this was a fighting game. No. What is this? This is an RPG. I thought they did show gameplay because in one part of it, or what, what was it? Because it, like there would be a part where it looked like you were watching just an anime. And then it would flip over and it looked different. So I thought that that's was the game. That's the real one game. It wasn't. Like no. they it wasn't. It's not the persona where you actually was like taking. It's not like that one. Okay. This is an R a true RPG. So it's an RPG. Okay. But they still didn't show any gameplay footage. So this is the updated one. So you remember um, when Persona Three came out and then they did Persona Three Golden. This is kind of like Royale is like that. Okay. So it's added chapters to the original. Okay. Persona 5. So it's like the expanded. Correct. Okay. Well, we got an RPG to play. Okay. We already got it. So. Yeah. So we're playing it. <laughs> and you already got yours. Oh, already. Okay. Oh. That already. He said the same thing about Doom, though. So. RPGs <laughs> is so much better. So much better. You can't. I, I can't. I can tell. Oh, I want a sandwich. Let me pause the game. It pauses by itself. Oh, I thought you were being for real. I thought he was like all of a sudden. Okay. <laughs> yeah what did you think about it because usually I would say you know what it's time for but round two three no I said what did you think of it oh 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I, something just popped up on my phone never seen before. Um, I didn't really like it. I, I kind of, I like the parts that looked like an anime. I was like, oh, this looks interesting. But then the part that looked a little different, I was like, what is this? So to be fair, to be fair to Persona, um, the little ad trailer, when we watched the trailer for Persona 5 Royal was Final Fantasy 7 Remake. And that's not a great trailer to watch before you watch another trailer for yeah, RPG. Because he almost lost his marbles. Because, <laughs> oh because one looked oh awesome God. and one looked silly and not great. I, awesome, silly and not great. I thought Persona 5 looked nice. and so. uh, I mean, the graphics in general weren't bad. Like the but graphics it's a to- bad. It's a total but the different. art style... Totally different. Yeah, totally different. Silly... Best game ever made. This is more anime based than yeah. Because Final Fantasy is not anime based. So. Yeah. No. No. What you think about that Final Fantasy Seven remake? That little two minutes we saw, a little twenty seconds. Anyway, no, we didn't really see that much. Anyway, y'all ready to move on? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Resident Evil Three. Very excited. What? What? You want to hold it up too? Everybody want to hear? Pass no, it around. Good. Pass it around. Look at that. Ooh. Um, do it, do it. Okay, so Resident Evil Three, one of my favorite PlayStation games. Final Fantasy Seven, one of my favorite PlayStation games. Um, not gonna lie, I'm not. I played Resident Evil Two late. I didn't play it when it first came out. As far as the 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 remake, um, I'm not really looking forward to running from Nemesis. The guy on two was fine. He walked slow. You know, he freaked me out. Shoot him in the Mr. X. Yeah, shoot him in the head a couple times. No, no, no. Nemesis though. No, no, it's totally different. No, no. But who's the guy I didn't like? Mr. X with the hat. Yeah, boom. And you can shoot him in the face like three times, three or four times, and then he'll go down to one knee. Yeah. This guy's hard. Nemesis. Yeah. Totally different beast. Yeah, man. It's like um, give an analogy. Let's do. Let's. Uh, I don't know. He reminded his, his, he, well, so what I've seen so far is he's almost like Scorp- Scorpio. So he has this tentacle where, like, if you get too quick, too close ahead of him, he gonna get you. He gonna drag you back. If you go into a room with the typewriter and you think, huh, I can rest, because it's not. Oh, he's, he's just gonna, gonna show up. Oh, he's gonna bust through the wall. And then you're gonna run. You're gonna run out the room again. Hopefully, you typed and saved your game before. For real. Yeah. Yeah. Like like Mister Mister X is on. He walked so slow. It was almost like he wasn't an, even an enemy. He freaked me out. I don't know what it was. And I think that's what he was. He was more the Michael Myers. He walked slow, but if he got you, it's over. He hit you with one no. of the lariats. Nem- Nemesis. No, nah, Nemesis is a different beast. No man. Like it's like Mister X times ten. Correct. I'm excited. I'm not. I'm the one that got to play it. <laughs> well, there, but there'll be ways to get around him. Um, you may have to do more to do it, but there'll be ways to get around him. So I'm a cheat. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's the last thing we got. Y'all ready to move on? Yeah. Yes. To round three. Round three. Oh, I got a story. Oh, here we go. <laughs> but not a new story. I got a real story. So... Hold up that game over there, please. That this. Okay. Got these <laughs> got these two games. Uh would I have bought Persona 5 Royal? No. Not my thing. But Mike B, I believe, bought it. Terrence bought it. So that means there's a um podcast waiting to be done. Um Story time. Got a call from my local GameStop. Hey, they pushed up the date on Resident Evil. You can come get it tomorrow, which was Thursday, which was the second right supposed to come out on third come get on the second cool i went up there the next day GameStop closed like closed closed yeah not closed down not 80 percent off store closing it was closed due to due to the coronavirus and the whole stay at home and it's you know a non-essential retail company but it is if you think about it but what what is who's it essential so he don't have kids and he hadn't had kids staying with him for two or three months in a row. Oh, bro. Come on. Don't do this. Don't do this to yourself, bro. No, don't do this to yourself. Because they can get online games and stuff. No, don't, don't do this. So, game stuff. No, no. Don't do this. So, let me go with this because because you say it like it's not. No, it's, but it's not. not essential to you. But because but that doesn't mean anything. That just means it's not essential to it's you. Not essential. You children. It's not. No, it's not essential so, to children. 
Children will not die if they don't have GameStop. <laughs> no, you but you know if but you they don't need if you don't eat if you don't go out and okay. buy food for if your you family, y'all will starve in this and die. House, and they were in this house with don't you do this. for the. I hear it all the time because I have people. I know people with kids. Oh, Lord, don't so do this. don't do what? We, but we talking about real life, life and death. Not um, I need something to distract my kids because they're making me go crazy right now. I'm talking about real life. Like I need to go out and get my medication because if I don't take my blood pressure medicine, I might die. I need to go out and get food for my family. I need to be able to provide nourishment for our bodies. That, that as much as, not, but as, that's not what's as, non-essential. As, that's that is not all that the non-essential uh, thing was about. So, um, says so I still work. So you saying what I do for a living is is uh. No, I think what you do is very essential because it it can de- determine the, the people's health and lives if they need to, a place to live. Right. Uh, th- right. Th- let me say this. Um, it's, let me say this. Families okay, need a place to live, right? So your so job is very important. Uh, so your job is very important, right? Super important. I understand people who have kids, and regardless if you you say it's it's not reality or it doesn't mean anything to you. I didn't say it didn't mean anything to or me. Or you have five kids and you are in the house because your job also is not essential. So you have all of this time when in reality, most of the time you were working and you didn't have all of this free time. So with them coming to get and, and GameStop, it'll be open again in a couple of days that I do know. Um, once the, and that's, uh, Something else we'll talk about at a different time, but it'll be open within a couple of couple of days because they're already working on the process and they will be considered essential again. But so why are they essential? Not, not because why of anything you're talking about. Why are they essential? Uh, hey, they're not. They are. I believe they are. No, no. Why are they essential? I, I believe that they provide a need for families, or they provide a a resource for a resource for those who are at home right now those who have multiple kids that are in the house this actually helps them or prime example you work from home right Mm -hmm. so you work from home so regardless if you think if you you don't have any kids it's just but why can't they get play the games that are online through my game pass or whatever why do we have to have a game stop for these kids because it's new that's new and you can order a new digital what if the what if somebody wants hard copies? No, regardless. That's not essential though. No, re- regardless of if it's new, if it's digital, if it's a physical copy, playing video games for kids, adults, grandmas, whoever is not essential. Okay. Well, they were still coming to get games regardless if it Yeah, was, that don't mean that don't mean it's essential. Well, it'll be essentially it'll be open again, so I mean it is what it is now. So I mean, I'm fine with it being open. I'm fine, I just I'm don't. fine with it being open because I got I need to get my Final Fantasy VII yeah. Deluxe Edition. Yeah, it doesn't bother me that they're open. I don't see how they're essential though. I believe I, I think it's essential for what's happening now, but it but it's okay because do you believe? And this is off topic. Okay, off topic. All right. So today is WrestleMania. The okay. next two days. All right. Um, and what they're saying is. Um, it's probably non-essential, but they're putting it on because it gives the world a distraction. Do you believe that that's necessary or it's not necessary? I get that. And I agree that, that people need something they're, they're, to No, but they're doing it from a state that does that did not anyway. It did not at the time have the stay at home orders in place. It doesn't. I think it does, it does now, be. but does. up until yesterday, it did not. Um, I so, don't remember when that went in effect. Yesterday, but I, but I knew it was yesterday. I know they have it. Well, my right. whole thing is I don't I don't really think WrestleMania is essential, it's but essential I do. Either. But I do agree that people, in order to stay sane and keep ourselves, you know, whatever, mentally strong or whatever, we need to be able to have stuff uh, at our, like access to things. Mm-hmm. But my whole point with the games, though, is you can get them online. You can buy every. You don't have to have a GameStop open to play games that's my old, that's my only and point. most people will, would prefer oh, it's, it's kind of leaning towards especially now since they weren't open and all of this stuff came out and we had to go to other places to find so it. that's that's really part more part of my story it doesn't really have to do with the fact that they called me and and then they were closed the next day it's the fact that what i've been talking about has now happened for me and i hate that it did because I, I want games stop to stay open um not only did i go get my game from somewhere else i got it from target shout out um, not only did I get 5% off of those games with my Target red card, shout out, 
I also got them buy two, get one free. Yeah. Shout out. So they're capitalizing on... I don't know I why. I, I don't know why they yeah. need to sell. They use they usually have some of these sales randomly throughout the year. I I don't know if this was specifically to attack GameStop or not. If they were smart, they would be. But I don't know if that's why they did it. But I went in. I was in and out in five minutes or less. And I generally speaking have never had that experience with GameStop. Um, they didn't try to sell me fifteen extra things that I didn't want, and I always say no to. I was in and out. And got more for my money. And was able to get it. Yeah. I mean. I mean, I I don't know, man. I Like, again, I hope GameStop can weather the storm. I just don't know if they can, if they have to stay closed for an extended period of time. If they can open back up and become essential, cool. I don't really care uh, what the reasoning is, essential or not. I will be up there picking up my pre-orders. I, I will tell you that. But. You know, we'll see. All right. You good? I'm always good. <laughs> I'm always good. This. What? Huh? Okay. Next story. What is this? So, I, and I make it short and sweet and put a little bow on it. Um, we will not be getting a Last of Us 2. That's not true. You won't be getting any time because this has been delayed and and it's been delayed and there's not a date associated with it. And right. So that don't mean we won't get it. It's just we don't know when we'll get you it. Won't get it. You won't get it no time soon. You right. might not get it this year. Right. Um. So it's been delayed indefinitely. So what it does indefinitely mean? That usually means you don't know when. Right. So right. It just means with that being said, we, want, we usually we want our games. We want them at the time. Hence, that's why these games were bought yesterday because you wanted them when you wanted them so with them delaying this and and both both parts of the company have come out playstation has said that they are sad but they are they understand that during this time and this crisis the people won't be able to enjoy the full experience yeah therefore they're not putting it there they put that indefinite on didn't get delayed anyway um it was delayed earlier right i think this is just an excuse I think um, I think it's something wrong with this game. I think the game is not that great. I think it's not living up to expectations, and they just use this as an excuse. That's what I think happened. And then yeah. the the company itself, you know, they 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 said that you know they they understood at this time that uh, it wouldn't be a good time to put the game out. So, do I know? Yeah, for whatever reason, right? It may have worked out in their in their um, benefit. Mm -hmm. that we had this because they're like okay this is good because now we have more time to make it even better or it may be you know whatever who knows i I don't know whatever it won't be a ps4 release probably not no no at this point no and we don't there's you know even beyond that um we're getting all these specs for these systems but that leads to another one a whole nother conversation about two new systems coming out when people don't have jobs but that's another conversation well we talked about this briefly yesterday we'll see We'll see. I don't, I don't think it's going to impact that much. No, we shall see. Because, like I said, PS5 don't even have a release date for it. Um, one thing I forgot to mention with, with my with my story, because you had went on this rant. Uh, the rant ain't about through. The kids, the about the kids. The rant ain't through, but. Um, <laughs> well, one thing I did forget. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. You can still get your pre-orders from GameStop if you have it paid in full or even if you have a deposit. If you have Correct. a $5 deposit down, they will refund you in the form of a uh, electronic gift card that you can then use to put that five dollars towards the actual game and have it shipped to you in two days if you had it fully paid in and paid in full um you can switch it over they will ship it to you for free that's that's okay but my problem with that is nobody trying to wait extra two and three days to play resident evil they're trying to they're trying to play their nemesis now mm-hmm and we know you're trying to play Final Fantasy VII remake. Yes, like immediately. Which yeah. people are? Which is funny. People already have it. So there are people right. who already There's have people it. People already have it. They just better not have my copy. I don't. <laughs> I don't know whose copy y'all stole, but it better not be mine. Anyway, y'all ready for the next story? Yeah. yeah, let's go. What is this? This is mine. Who's there? Um, 
So this story is about um, Animal Crossing got three updates within a week, which apparently is unusual for Nintendo. Um, they're apparently infamously slow to take to action like that. I I don't I don't know for sure, so I'm just going off of the article I read. Right, right, right. Uh, they the example they gave was like um, Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's only received apparently two patches since the November release, which is kind of weird because it's like you only have one example and maybe that one didn't need it. I don't know. Right. That's, yeah. what, that's what I'm saying. That's, oh, okay. Go ahead. But, Cause but, I'm, I'm about to go off on this, but okay. I'm gonna let you finish. So the article is basically, Kanye. so the article was basically <laughs> saying like, Hey, look at Nintendo. Look what they did. This is pretty awesome. Um, and they are sa- also, uh, they're, the article points out that it may not be expected for a game like this to, to be that on top of patches and really aggressively trying to fix everything. Mm. But um, it's been breaking sales records across the world. Oh, yeah. And just in Japan alone, it was the fastest selling Nintendo Switch game. So 1.88 million copies in three days. Mm-hmm. So I guess they're trying really hard to make sure that everything is working you know, as it should. But anyway, the point of the article, though, was I'm just saying, like, it was written as, a, as, a, as though it was impressed. I'm not, I'm not impressed. Okay. It ticks me off. I'm mad. About what? Um, Three patches in the first month is crazy, let alone in one week. Um, That tells me there's something wrong with the game or they did this on purpose. Uh, one one update we know for sure was adding the Easter elements yeah. to the game. Right. Okay. That's fine. I'm I, I, Okay. I'm cool with that. 100%. The second update they did, uh, apparently people had a way to cheat and duplicate items yeah and get a lot of money or bells they patched that didn't say that they were patching that but everybody knew that's what they were doing your game your game was broken and i can't imagine i can't imagine you didn't know this was a thing until the game came out i can't imagine so i'm saying I, i'm not sure if i trust you here did you do that on, did you do that on purpose wait you don't so is that not typical for them to realize something after it's out that like something's kind of acting funny? Most games get patches. Most yeah, most games get gets, gets patches, but it's kind of like a game this big, and the whole thing. Oh, uh, the company y'all uh, they're on top of it. Blah blah blah. I mean, it's a huge release. Yeah, and this game got delayed. So most, and it's still broken when it came out. That's my problem with all this. So, so most games get usually get a patch within the first week or so. Um, and then after that first patch, then it's probably not as much. Mm. So the Easter one. Uh, uh, yeah, that's fine. And then one patch. Then that would have been normal. Normal. But then after that one, it's another one done within what? A couple of days. Or, right. Yeah. Then it, it, it I, don't, I won't say what it was totally broken, but there were some things, I guess, maybe. And hold on. They may have known what was going on. So they t- tried to hurry up and get it out. Before everything started, you know, to kind of fall apart. It seems like they would have known for them to fix it that quickly. Correct. I'm just saying, I, I won't be surprised if they knew before the game came out. Because here we are talking about it. That's what we're saying. What, what, no, what, no, no, no. I'm talking about before the game was released. That's not, what I'm saying. Not, I think they would have had to know that there was it before they released it with how quickly they fixed it. The the mm. one with the money? Yeah. The one with the what, money. What yeah. that mean? Okay. So that's my problem with all this. Why did you put the game out? Why did you put our broken game out then? So let me ask you a question. Why I'm, why wasn't the patch available day one? Because timing is everything. No, no. Why, yeah. why wasn't the, the patch available day one then? If you knew this before the game came out. Well, maybe they didn't. No, I think they did. And I think it's just causing more headlines. Oh. Instead of just saying, oh, oh there's an Easter event for Animal Crossing. N- nobody cares about that headline, right? That's expected. Now you got these. Now you got all these other headlines about oh multiple patches and oh you can get all this extra money by uh, exploiting this glitch. Blah 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 blah. This is more. Be. This I is mean, more marketing advertisement, more pub. For it the could game. be a publicity thing. My, my again, my problem with all. I this, don't think Animal Crossing needs any anything to push Animal Crossing. Yeah. Because everybody seemed to have been, including yourself, waiting for this. Yeah, but you know what? I was kind of on the fence, and. Uh, Cause we originally, I said, no, nah, I'm not going to get it. And then apparently everybody inside GameStop was like, huh? She's not going to get it. And so I was like, wait, why is everybody? Well, you still get your 10, you can, you still get your $10. Oh, I don't know. Cause you know, the store's closed now and going out of business. So I don't really know. <laughs> Stop. Um, again, 
my my problem with this is stop putting out broken games. Stop putting out incomplete games. Stop putting out games that are not finished. Stop putting out games um, where I have to purchase DLC to unlock stuff that's on the disc. Stop doing this. You're talking to everybody. 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 Stop. If your game is not finished, don't put it out. If your game is broken, don't put it out. Well, but if they are, but if they did put it out for publicity to keep people talking about it, to get those people that were on the fence. Don't be shady like that either. Because like Terrence just said, Animal Crossing doesn't need that. Yeah. And it doesn't. Moons over Miami. Moons of Madness. Denny's. They need that kind of pub. They need something to push them because nobody knows about that game. We're probably the only podcast that had talked about it last week. <laughs> right. Animal Crossing don't need this. No. So if, if you did it on purpose, shame. If you didn't do it on purpose, shame. It's a humongous release. Stop putting out broken games. Okay. Well, maybe they're listening. Oh, uh, we know they're listening. I'm not sure they'll listen to you, but they're listening though. We know they are listening though. Nintendo and Ni- Niantic, how close they are, because we know they listen to our Pokemon Go episodes. We know. We know that. So, anyway, I, we got a question of the week though. Do you think multiple updates to video games in the first month is a good thing? Answer down in the comment section below. And I wasn't even aware in one week. Three updates in one week. I thought yeah. it was essentially still the first month. But, Technically, uh, I think it was eight days, but whatever. Right. So do you think that's a good thing or not? Should they get praise for that? I say no. What do you think? I don't think they should get praised for it. Yeah, shouldn't be praised. What do you think? I mean, I don't know. I thought it was a, I I thought it was a like a normal thing to do that. If it's not, if that's not an industry standard, then no, it's probably not a good thing. So again, the the, the three and eight days is not normal. Having patches in general is normal. Yes, right, but kind of spread out. Like Pokemon Sword and Shield got one, got one or two, whatever mm-hmm. since November. That's normal. Oh, the, the, that's different though, because um, Pokemon's not going to get as many patches anyway. But like <laughs> uh, Call of Duties, they normally get patches throughout throughout, and you may get one a month. Oh, okay. maybe one a month, or maybe one every two months. Um, the bigger titles like those, and but we we know even from Call of Duty that they would not have gotten as many if they would have put the complete game out. Stuff like Warzone coming later. Come on, that should have been a part of the original release. Warzone should have been a part of the original release. There should not have been a humongous patch to come months later for Warzone. Come on. Well, uh, the fact that there wasn't a bunch of maps, right, when it first came yeah, out. And it, we got more maps for free. Doesn't correct. matter. Those should have been a part of the original release. Stop putting out incomplete games. Well, I don't think that was incomplete. I think that's just what they said. This is what you're going to get. Right, because Period. it was incomplete. Well, this is what you're going to get. Either you're going to play it or you're not. Right. It, that doesn't mean it but wasn't that, incomplete. But that doesn't mean... Well, no, because... When you, when you put out a game with four maps... But they weren't going to... Yeah. Come on, man. See, this is the thing. So, if I put out a game, mm-hmm. I'm not going to get... As a big company... As a big company, not a small. As a small company, I'll give you everything. Because I want I want everything out. In, but big companies that do Call of Duties, some of the Red Deads... They're not going to give you everything mm-hmm. when the game first comes out. That's just not how they operate. They're going to give it to you like the Rice no, Krispie be, because, because they were behind. Because you put out an incomplete product. You have a date. We know this comes out at the same well, time I, I every year. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say I just think that they weren't They weren't going to give you that. They weren't ready. I won't say that. Plain either. and simple. They weren't, they weren't ready. They would, no, because they wouldn't say that. They, what they would say. Yeah, they're not going to say that, but that doesn't you, mean they weren't ready. We gave you what we wanted to give you at the time. Then when we're ready, no, we we'll get, release some more. No, we gave you what we had at the time, mm-hmm. and we're we're currently making more. And then when it comes out, it will be free. You know mm-hmm. why it will be free? Because it was supposed to be a part of the original launch. Well, no, because originally they said that every, all DLC for the new Call of Duty was going to be free. Because they knew they up front the product was lacking. Not saying it wasn't a good game. Don't get me wrong. Like my Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I'm mm-hmm. saying it was an incomplete game. And they would say it's not. They would say, they, yeah, of course they're gonna say. They it. Would why, say why? Why would? Why? Because I don't. Why, think, why would they come out and say no? We screwed because up. Because it wasn't. No, because they're not gonna it wasn't say complete. That. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give you everything in the beginning. So well, uh, hold on. All the Call of Duties for the past twelve years, mm-hmm. however have long Call of Duty's been mm-hmm. up in major. All of them from launch had what eight maps that you play. 
This one had four that just kept coming up over and over and over and over. That's not normal. There's something wrong with that. That's not that's not normal. All I know is this. Those had pay to they had payable uh, maps. Usually they had come out with throughout the year. They'd have a little pack and this pack was an update. You could buy it. You didn't have to buy it. And then it would come with uh, certain more maps. So I, I'm not saying that they, I'm not saying that they said, oh, we're going to give you seven or eight maps. You keep telling me about what they said. I'm telling you what happened. Like, this is what this is what the product they gave me. And this is not up to standards with for you. No, for, you. for, for all the other Call of Duties that have ever been released for you. It is not it's not even with that. But for you. No, you it's say- not even with that. But they don't have to give you what that's for you. That, that's the statement that they, they don't have to. They don't have to so, give us what they've been giving us for thirteen years. That doesn't make sense. There's three different companies that make Call of Duties, right? And they all came out with more than four maps. So at launch. if they chose to give you four maps this time, that doesn't mean that the product was not correct. That may have been what they planned to give you from the very beginning. He, he's starting to sound like Trump and the and the, the son-in-law <sighs> talking about the ventilators. That's what he sounded like. <sighs> This Those is, are our ventilators. These are, these are our ventilators. <laughs> this is what we, this is for us, but we chose to let y'all have some. Come on, man. No, nah, y'all, okay. y'all, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't ready. For you, it wasn't ready. No, it wasn't, it wasn't ready. It, for you, it wasn't ready. Okay. Okay. Go Google it then. Google it. It's not, it's no, like, the last it's, time, it's, I, it's last time I was on my phone, get back with that by Yang shoes. What are you doing? <laughs> so my phone is no, off. I'm not saying to Google it right now. My phone is off. I'm not saying so. Google it right now because you over there buying Toms or whatever you buy. I'm not buying nothing no more. <laughs> okay, so the nor, every other game ever released had four at least four maps? No, no, more than four maps. Oh, and this one only had four maps? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then what? How many weeks later? After launch, like two, three, two weeks later, they put out like two or three more maps. Come on, man. Like it wasn't ready. Those maps weren't ready. So they didn't deploy it at launch. And then they fixed them and put them out a couple of weeks later. Come on. Come on, man. They didn't make them in two weeks. You think they made them in those two weeks? Like launch. And then we made two more maps. So we put them out. Here you go, guys. No, they had been working on that stuff for months. It wasn't ready. Again, the game is still dope. But. If they put out, my point is if they put out more complete product from the beginning, there would be less patches. That's my whole point. If those few maps that came out two weeks later, right, and the nerfs for the guns, because they they rebalanced the guns, if all that had been done before the game was released, those are two patches right there that would not have happened. That's my point. Okay. Y'all ready to wrap up? Let's yes. Wrap it up. Anix. On a version TV. Let's do this because I always steal her thunder and I don't want to do it. Everything we talked about today, including Modern Warfare, Persona, Resident Evil, links down in the description below. That's it for this week's update. If you enjoyed the show, please make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we release new episodes. See you next week. Don't you be afraid.